Hi, this is Jeff Fassbinder with Align, and today we're going to be talking about the Gimbal 800. We're going to talk about the radio parameters as well as the basic setup calibration procedure for the Gimbal Stabilizer. But before we get started on that, there are some tools that you're going to need to have when doing this procedure, such as a digital pitch gauge. This one's offered from Align, this is the AP800. It's a great tool to have, so make sure uh, you look for that at your local retailer. In addition to that, when we get the Trekker 800, there are some features that we've added to this particular helicopter. One being this landing gear system here, and this is our aerial photography landing gear set. Make sure you look for our website and take a look at that. But this is needed in order to utilize the gimbal system, so you'll need that. And in addition to that, you'll also want to get our uh, auxiliary battery mount system here, which is on the tail here. And this enables you to get the CFG correct on your helicopter when you have your radio installed. And some other little things that actually help the helicopter out a lot in flight are dampeners. We have some softer dampening uh, that we recommend highly for your system. It actually is included with the Gimbal 800, but just so you know what it is, it's the, uh, the basically the 80 thermometer dampeners for the rotor head system. So that's these here. And we also have gimbal bearing block dampeners that go right in this area here as far as for dampening the front end of the gimbal, this is the arm itself. So this is another package that we have that you can get at your local retailer. So why don't we get started and we'll get started with the radio parameters so you can understand what they do and the various functionality that the Gimbal 800 has. It has a number of flight modes that I'm sure people that are doing AP will be very interested in. So sit back and let's get started. All right, we're getting started setting up our Gimbal 800 offered by Align. And we're gonna be setting the settings in our radio for the Gimbal Stabilizer. We need to have a couple things. So we need to have a radio that has, first of all, two idle up positions. So a total of three switch points. And this will get us from our normal flight mode and into our various flight modes for our stabilizer on the gimbal itself. There are three modes here first. One is a three axis, the second is a two axis, and the third is a three axis again. We'll go into the specific details of what that actually does with the gimbal, but for now we need a three position switch. The next switch we need is for our gyro gain. Our gyro gain right here enables us to go from normal, or should I say headlock, to normal mode. That enables us to access the fourth flight mode. And this is basically a manual mode to stabilize the gimbal system. The last switch is on hold. And um, let's see if I can show you here. We have that set at 30% above or should I say below the actual throttle point, the lowest throttle point in our curve. This is a crash mode. It actually makes the base of the stabilizer horizontal. So if there ever was a problem, uh, you're really high up, you didn't know where the camera angle was, you hit the hold switch to ensure uh, the safest point of uh, operation for the camera. All right, in servo, you'll notice in the servo monitor menu here, you notice how this is moving here. Again, you need to set it so that it goes below the lowest setting on your throttle curve. And uh, this is to ensure that the, again, the base platform of the gimbal remains level for a crash type situation. So that's what that's for there. And you notice it's on the throttle channel that it's drive. All right, once we get there are settings, or should I say the switches, now that we know where those are, we're gonna to need to go through the setup process for this. And in order to do that, we're gonna to need to go into our throttle curves. Our first throttle curve is set all at zero. And this is our first flight mode. This is the three axis autocorrect. This is gimbal, ground attitude, 
remaining fixed during flight. And this is how you achieve that. The next flight mode, when we switch into idle one, we do that by setting 50% as our idle one. We're using throttle curves to achieve this, but this is how we direct what the gimbal stabilizer will do while we're in flight. This is mode two. This is a two axis autocorrect. This rolls and tilt angle remain fixed in this particular flight mode. And again, that's on idle one, mode two. When we go into flight mode three or idle two, we're utilizing 100% throttle curve here. And what this enables us to do is a three axis auto center. And it's basically all gimbal servos remain at neutral. So it'll pitch in y'all depending on helicopter's attitude. It's gonna, now we'll go to our mode four. Again, this is our gyro uh, sensitivity switch as well. We're going from headlock into normal. This puts us in manual mode and enables us to control the gimbal manually. So that's the manual mode here. And again, mode five, should we have to have a rescue type of situation or crash, this again keeps the gimbal base horizontal to minimize damage to your photographic equipment. So these are the base five modes of operation of the gimbal system for your radio. The next thing we'll need to do is go and set up the actual stabilizer system on your Gimbal 800. So let's watch what the next segment has and we'll show you actually how to calibrate your gimbal and its use in general function. All right, we're looking at the Gimbal 800 and the Gimbal Stabilizer System. We've talked about a few of the features and now we're going to talk about or actually show how to check them on the gimbal stabilizer, the GS800. Right now we are in mode one, as you can see by the green LED on the stabilizer unit here. We're gonna switch into mode two. We see that we have a green light, it's pretty self-explanatory. We know that that is working and functioning correctly. We go to mode three, it's taking our command. Again, this is the three X position. When we go into mode four, again, we're gonna use the gyro sensitivity switch here. You'll note that the mode one light goes out completely. That denotes that we're in the fourth flight mode condition. The next one, the fifth mode, or when uh, we're having a rescue type mode situation, we hit the throttle hold switch, and you'll see mode three flashing. This indicates that we are in the rescue mode and this is to ensure that our camera or other vital electronics uh, are in a safe position upon landing. Set it for calibration of the gimbal stabilizer system. We've already talked about and discussed the various flight modes, which there are five, and we've talked about the parameters within the radio in order to achieve those five flight modes. But now let's get started on setting up the gimbal for use. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to hold the set button on the gimbal stabilizer. It's on the back here. I'm going to hold it for two seconds. And what there'll be on the back side of that is a flashing light. Okay, once that flashing light is flashing, we want to calibrate our system. First of all, we want to make sure the gimbal is 90 degrees to the helicopter here. So we're looking for a 90 here. So we're going to do that. We're going to adjust it. We're going to just make sure that that's 90. And then once we do that, we want to make sure that we're level. That's why we have our aligned digital pitch gauge here, the AK-800. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust. I'm going to adjust this. Right now I'm just tilting. Get that so just a little bit more. Alright, and then I can also check 
the tilt here, so I'm going to check that. And once we've gotten that as close to zero as possible, we want to go ahead and press the set button once. Just once. Don't press it any more than one second. Just press it. You'll notice that the gimbal turns to the left. All right. What you want to do is make sure that this is 90. This is the maximum travel allowed for the gimbal. You're going to be setting up both the left, right, the tilt, the pan, and so on and so forth. So what we want to do is once we're, we're satisfied with that, we move with the rudder stick. And we're going to be utilizing the rudder stick for all the corrections and our adjustments on the gimbal uh, that we're going to be making here. So once we get that where we appreciate that value and we think that that's centered up to where the maximum travel should be, we're going to press down on the elevator. We're going to push forward. It's going to cycle it to the next stage of the calibration process. So right now, I've done that. Again, I'm going to use the rudder stick to calibrate the maximum travel range. And then once I've done that, again, I push forward on the elevator. And now I'm checking the tilts here. Okay, we want about 30 degrees. I'm gonna utilize the rudder to make this adjustment, the rudder stick input. So that's 30.4, 30.5, that's pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and press forward on the elevator again. I pressed it twice, excuse me. If you do advance it, what you just saw me do is I went one step too far. All you have to do to back up on a step if you make a mistake while doing this calibration is pull back on the elevator or up and it'll go back to the, the other step that you had just uh, moved from. So right now, again, I want to check out this 30 degree angle, but let's say I wanted to check that one previous to this. I pull up, pull up, it goes back. We just check this. Just show you real quick. We check that, we're at 30. Again, push forward once. Now it tilts again here. We're gonna check this angle. And I need to make a little adjustment. I'm gonna utilize the rudder to do so. All right, there's 30. Okay, now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and advance it. Okay, this is tilting the camera down towards the ground there. And we can check this with a triangle or some other tool, but you can just reference the actual gimbal itself. And looking at that, if you're 90, if you're happy with that position, advance it. This will be the up position. And if you want to make any adjustments to it, again, you use, utilize the rudder stick to make any adjustments to it. Get that as 90 as possible there. Again, we'll advance the elevator stick or push down. And basically, we've concluded the actual calibration. But before I do that, I need to press the set button one more time. And now your gimbal is calibrated and ready for use in operation with your camera system. This is the Align Gimbal 800, utilized with the Trekker 800 helicopter and available at your local retailers now.